and brothers, if Allah has given you wealth, you have money, you can see these kind of places. This is the like in the Arab world, in the Muslim world, every place you meet Muslims, you can you might meet in a in a on, on the road, you might meet a, a sheikh and sit with him and and, and say, Sheikh, can I benefit from you? That the, the knowledge is everywhere. You find it everywhere, or you find the benefits. A lot of the times, you find it elsewhere. But the people who only find their khair in these countries where. So the masajid becomes the most important thing for you guys. Are we all together, brothers? The masajid become what? More important. So please, fund and support the masajids. If Allah has given you money, you have money, have a portion for the masajid. Because guess what? It's the house for so many people. This is where people find their deen. Sah? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وأقاموا الصلاة وآتوا الزكاة لهم أجرهم عند ربهم ولا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وذروا ما بقي من الربا إن كنتم مؤمنين فإن لم تفعلوا فأذنوا بحرب من الله ورسوله وإن تبتم فلكم رؤوس أموالكم لا تظلمون ولا تظلمون وإن كان ذو عسرة فنظرة إلى ميسرة وأن تصدقوا خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون واتقوا يوما ترجعون فيه إلى الله ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون. أخي هاي بنفيت في المسجد. I've benefited a lot from the masjid. Ustad Saeed's Ustad Saeed's lessons for the past past few months actually I've been coming to these lessons. And before this I wasn't going through the books or I wasn't seeking knowledge as as much as I want to be and as much as I've been doing now. And yeah, the lessons have benefited me a lot. I've been learning a lot of things which I didn't know before, and a lot of things in Islam which, which is wajib for every Muslim to know, which I did not know before. So it's benefited me a lot, alhamdulillah. In terms of dress and behavior, alhamdulillah, it's like I was, a, I was person A, now I'm person, person Z. SubhanAllah. In terms of before, of course, when you're, when you're away from knowledge or you're away from the people of knowledge, you act and behave in a certain way which society tells you to behave or people tell you to behave. Or you believe that people want you to behave. When in reality, this is displeasing to Allah. And Allah Taala tells us within the Quran, really in the absence of remembrance of Allah, do people have a distressed or depressed life? Now Allah tells us in the Quran, those who forget Allah, Allah calls them to forget themselves. So Allahumma sta'an. When you're away from that which is good, Allah, you, you become that which is bad. I've benefited immensely regarding classes and, and the teachers. And the books that we've gone through, like Kitab al Tawheed and Matan Abi Shuja' and Nawaqid al Islam and you know, Kash um, Shubuhat, as well as the brotherhood and, and, and the gatherings that you come to with the brothers. You spend the whole week working, you look forward to coming and sitting down with the brothers and speaking to them and just being around righteous people and you know, you know, having that good gathering. Okay, how would you feel about us moving to a bigger space? Oof. Bigger space would equal bigger impact. Not to say that's the formula to life, but that. With what Masjid Imam Nawi has going on, a bigger space will definitely, definitely result in more khair, more, you know, people off the streets, you know, people coming and finding a purpose in life and finding a drive for something that's actually going to benefit the hereafter. I think it'd be very beneficial as at the moment we are very cramped on space. So if we had a lot more space, the da'wah would spread a lot more, a lot more brothers can benefit. And sometimes brothers aren't able to even come into the Masjid. I think some brothers, maybe 20 brothers outside, brothers and sisters, they get turned away. Uh, well, I've been on the recipient end of the masjid being too full. You probably know sometimes when I'm outside and like, uh, you know, staying out in the cold or watching it on Instagram live is not the same. Um, and uh, that's that's a big thing. So just the ukuwa in the masjid and uh, the general asking questions in face to Ustad, there's nothing like it. And finally, any advices for brothers and sisters who want to seek knowledge? I think it's best that you take it step by step, attend one, one class at a time, and inshallah you will see the benefits in the long run. The brotherhood is very, very important in Islam. 
um, you know, um, if the Prophet وسلم, was being commanded to to be patient with righteous people and to and to stick with the righteous people, you know, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He said to the Prophet وَصْبِرْ نَفْسَكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَدَاتِ وَالْعَشِيِّ يُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَهُ so if the Prophet ﷺ here is being commanded to stick with the righteous people, then what about us? And what better way to be with the righteous people than in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If any masjid needs an expansion, it's, it's definitely this one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my brothers and sisters. Just to give you guys an update of what's going on in Masjid and Nawawi. Uh, so the previous year we managed to save after all the expenses 40,000 pounds. Insha'Allah, the goal this year is to raise 100,000 pounds and to put 60,000 pounds for the, all the expenses of the masjid throughout the year and anything above will be saved for uh, the deposit or paying for the building so we've managed to locate a building across the road from the masjid and they are saying that the starting price for the building is about around 1.2 million pounds so inshallah anything that you donate goes towards that and getting a larger space for the masjid also brothers and sisters we've decided to go with a new donation platform for our masjid and that is a platform called GiveMatch. And how that works is that if I give a donation of up to 200 pounds, they give me a link. And that link, if two people use that link and they donate even if it is as little as one pound, they will double what I have donated. So they say you give and we match. So if I give 200 pound, they will match that 200 pound and make it 400 pound if two people use my link. Also my dear brothers, we are open to taking loans for the masjid. So if anybody is out there who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed and is willing to give out a loan to the masjid, we are willing to pay back that loan in the near future as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَن ذَا الَّذِي يُقْرِضُ اللَّهَ قَرْضًا حَسَنًا فَيُضَاعِفَهُ لَهُ وَلَهُ أَجْرٌ كَرِيمٌ who is the one who is going to lend a loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a good loan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will multiply his reward and for him is a generous reward. And also anyone that is hesitant about donating, always remember that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, مَنْ بَنَا مَسْجِدًا لِلَّهِ بَنَا اللَّهُ لَهُ بَيْتًا فِي الْجَنَّةِ Whoever builds a house or, or a, a place of worship, a mosque for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will build for him a house in Jannah. We ask Allah to give us a house in Jannah. ما يعمر مساجد الله من آمن بالله واليوم الآخر وقام الصلاة وقام الصلاة وآت الزكاة ولم يخش إلا الله فعسى أولئك أن يكونوا من المهتدين